Part 1. White Clouds. Blue Sea Moon. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. As the sun grows stronger and the nights grow ever shorter, the Blue Sea Star returns to the sky once more. Believed to be the goddess's home, her followers look to the star and commence celebrations of her rebirth. On the grounds of Garag Mach Monastery, a grand ceremony is held in honor of this much anticipated event. Every true follower of the Church of Saros is sure to be in attendance. What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. In the last episode, we beat the poor Lord Lonato, and in this episode, we're going to be beginning the fourth chapter, and we're going to be exploring the monastery and unlocking uh, the Tea Party uh, feature, so that's going to be exciting. And we're also going to be uh, doing some quests as well from other characters. And overall, we're just going to be exploring the monastery for the month. Alright, so received 3,000 gold. Okay, my birthday was on 31st of July. Uh, okay, letter from Claude. Golden Deer bracelet. And Caspar's birthday. Yeah, he actually shares the same birthday as me, I think. Thanks. Okay, it's gonna be support time with Raphael, so I'm just gonna skip this and probably have another video with all of the supports. <gasps> Alright, got the C rank. And now we move on to... okay, another support. Okay, so our task this moon is to patrol and guard the monastery in support of the knights, who are busy trying to stop an assassination plot. Here's the thing. I don't think the bad guys are really trying to assassinate the Archbishop. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're probably not, because that would be foolishness. Precisely. That secret note with the assassination plot on it, there's just no way that was real. People don't just carry around secret notes. Someone wanted us to find it. You really think the assassination plot is just a distraction? Oh yeah, that makes complete sense. But then, what are they really after? If I knew that, I wouldn't be so worried. Let's see. It probably involves somewhere that will be empty during the Rite of Rebirth, yeah? Since the ceremony is at the Goddess Tower, it follows that everywhere else at the Academy will be severely understaffed. Do you think they're after the Church's donation money? I hear noble families tend to donate quite generously. My bet's on the dining hall. It's a treasure trove of delicious food. It makes me angry just thinking about them getting their grubby hands on it. Let's split up and look around. I'll keep an eye on the reception hall. You should get in some training if you have the time, Hilda. There's a good chance we'll have to fight. Uh, well, I'm not the only one who needs to train here. It's not right to single me out like that. A secret meeting, Professor? Oh, we haven't been introduced. I am Shamir. Shamir is one of the Knights of Saros, and that little go-getter there is... I work for Lady Rhea, and I'm Shamir's apprentice. Oh, the name's Cyril. Yep, I help Lady Rhea with all kinds of stuff. I've got to protect Lady Rhea, so that's why I've got to learn all I can from Shamir. Cyril adores Rhea. That aside, if you need anything, ask. All right, so now we finally move on to Sunday. We're, we're gonna just chill around, I guess, and probably find stuff about uh, the assassination plot. So tournaments begin this month. Uh, we'll have to complete a quest for that. Um, let's talk to Sothis. A hero's relic. However, could I know something? Still, it is heavy on my mind. The stone within the sword. A glow of red. Hm? Oh, it is nothing. 
she seems to be a bit more calm than usual. Alright, any hidden item here? Doesn't seem like it. Usually you have some kind of hidden item, like right outside of your room. And let's talk to Shamir. You spend too much time roaming the monastery. If you're looking for something, try less aimless wandering. I mean, that's what this game is all about, so I have to do that. <laughs> but I'll go with this. Do you even know who the enemy is? You can't know why without knowing who. It's none of my business anyway. I'm just here to take care of enemies who get too close. Excuse me, at least I'm trying to find out something. You're just standing here like an NPC. I mean, you're pretty much an NPC at this point because we haven't really recruited you. Hopefully we can do that. I'll just go ahead and search if there's any kind of hidden item there. I don't know why this part of the monastery is always so empty. Like, there's absolutely nothing. There's one guy just roaming around all alone. I, I don't know what's up with that. There's no item to be found. Which is kind of strange. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, get the... Um, get the quest from Claude. All right, and let's go to the Golden Deer house. Professor. Okay, Dorothy is there. We can also find an item. Bag of tea leaves. A small bag containing mixed variety of tea leaves. Probably belongs to someone who is interested in tea. So because this is uh, found in the Red Eagle's house uh, classroom, it's probably like belongs to some Red Eagles, uh, sorry, Black Eagle student. I don't know why I'll always just say Red Eagles. Probably because of their, uh, <laughs> because of their flag. But to be fair, they do have an actual Black Eagle on it. Uh, let's talk to Dorothea. We could probably give her some flowers or something and build up the support. Is it true you got caught in the fighting? <sighs> I'm so thankful you made it out alive. I don't know what we would do if we lost you. Uh... I could ask her for mission assistance, but I think I'm, I'm like I'm gonna go with Petra because Petra is a bit harder to recruit. Um, so I'm gonna give some gifts to Dorothea. She's probably gonna be liking flowers. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor. Yeah, so gifts are a pretty easy way to build up your supports uh, with the students you want to recruit from other houses. So you can just spam those gifts. It's pretty easy to like harvest these flowers um, and then just spam them as a gift. But some characters probably do not like those, uh, so you will probably have to watch out for that. Is there anything to be found here? Nope. So let's talk to Claude. To figure out our foe's intentions, we need information. Lots of it. Or any, at the least. For now, try going around the monastery and looking for suspicious locations. You should also try chatting folks up to see if they know anything. Once we've got things narrowed down, let's meet up and compare notes. All right, let's can do I that. Ask you a favor? Bro, you certainly can ask for any favor. And let's talk to Lysithia. I don't know who's to blame for all this commotion, but it's frankly a huge inconvenience. With everyone stuck on guard duty, our study and training time has been drastically reduced. Yes, yes, I understand that. But it doesn't change the fact that it's a royal pain. What are you talking about? You don't need training. You already like one shot and two shot things with how ridiculous your magic stat is. And there's the hidden item, so let's get that. Owl Feather. This is actually one of the favorites for uh for Petra. So it increases your support even more with her uh, compared to the normal gifts because she really likes that. Yeah. Because she, like, likes animals in general, I guess. Let's talk to Raphael. I bet the enemy is using this assassination nonsense just to sneak in and raid the pantry. What do you think, Professor? Oh, I'm right, all right. My animal instinct is telling me that the enemy is after our best meats. Yep. I mean, the assassination guys are probably Narians who need food. That's definitely it, <laughs> Raphael. Um, Alright, so we got the quest. Uh, on the map, we can see these shining spots. We have to get the um, investigation notes, I guess, from these people. We can also go ahead and accept quests from other people uh, before we just finish Claude's quest. 
Uh, Caspar is gonna be there. He's gonna be helping us uh, unlock the tournaments. And we can also go to the stable and talk to Ferdinand. And the tea leaves actually belong to Ferdinand. He is from Black Eagles. Hmm. Setting fire to the stables to distract everyone, to cause a commotion. It is the oldest trick in the book, but I cannot shake the thought that our enemies may attempt it. I will stand guard and watch over the stable and the knight's horses. They are truly magnificent. Please, do me a favor. Okay, so we need to unlock the tea party um, feature by completing this quest and we can also give him the lost item uh, which is bag of tea leaves obviously will belong to him for this. okay so we are done and now we can get another lost item here and this but uh, like belongs to Marion because last month she was here in the stable and uh, she's a pretty spiritual gal she always prays to goddess and stuff like that so it definitely belongs to her. We can get this. Uh, only one star. It's a pretty bad one. Nothing really too special. Um, I guess we can... Yeah, these are really narrow paths. Is there anything here? Amiibo gazebo. I'll probably have to make a video for that. Um, nothing around the crates. That's super weird. And we can also accept quests from Sethet. I've been in town, procuring some supplies for Flame. No. But do not concern yourself for my safety. I am very much stronger than I appear. Yeah, I can bet over that for sure. I have something to ask of you. He's actually pretty powerful. Um, so we can gather information about the thieves. And we have to go to the Knight's Hall, I believe, for that. I'm just trying to see if I can get something uh, from here, like these narrow passages, maybe something that is useful, but probably not. Um, here, nope. Hey. Yeah, I don't have time to talk to you. You don't even have a dialogue. All right, so now uh, let's go to the Knights Hall, and we can get the um, the intel for. Seth it and also talk to Caspar and here we can find Thieves Intel. Alright. Uh now where is Caspar? Probably outside, I think. Is he outside? Let me locate him. Okay, he's all the way over there. Uh so we can go there actually. And get the quest. I just want to see if is uh, like if there is any kind of hidden item here. Yeah. Um, nothing. And this is the place where everyone tea parties. Hopefully, we can unlock that and also do it ourselves, because that seems like a really chill mechanic. Um, is there anything? Nope. We're back here. Okay. Let's go to Caspar and talk with him. The quest, yeah, the quest is in this direction. Artificial flower. Um, last month, uh, Lorenz was here, so this belongs to him. Hey, professor. And we can accept the quest from him. Oh, hey, professor. I was just reading this letter from my father. Do you know him? He's a pretty big deal in the Empire. He only writes to ask how my training's going, or how many monsters I've killed, stuff like that. Hey, I got a favor to ask. Alright, so we have to go and talk to the tournament organizer in the training grounds. And, yeah, we don't have anything to give to you. Uh, we can talk to this monk, I guess, for the... Wait, what? <sighs> yeah, we want to talk to him. Do you know what this room is? It is the church's treasure vault. I say treasure, but I do not mean silver and gold and jewels. It mostly contains weapons, artifacts, and the like. Anything that would cause too great a stir, should it be stolen? No. The church knows better than to store anything too valuable in such an accessible location. 
Okay, if uh, the church is so smart, then why are you guys worrying about anything? Uh, we cannot go to that place. Okay, Mercedes is here. Uh, okay. Right, we right. don't really have any kind of like dialogue option with her where we could increase our support with her. Fighting to stop a murdering is my specialness. Uh, no, my specialty. I will show my best work. Let's give you some gifts. You have my thanks. This is giving me great joy. Yep, like I said, the owl feather is really good gift for Petra. And I'm gonna ask for the mission assistance. Yes. Because she's a bit harder to recruit compared to um, all of the other units which I have an eye on, like Felix and Dorothea. Um... So, who else is here? Hubert, Sylvain... Uh, we could go ahead and talk to Hubert. Well... Speaking, can you imagine the Archbishop being murdered? I prefer not to consider such a gruesome scenario. Awfully calm, aren't you? I wonder what it takes to rile you up. Uh, just That's my enemies hitting low accuracy hits like 26 percent and me missing 83 percent hit rates that's like enough to round me up um so we could go to the cathedral actually um they can like we can get some quests done uh for the clots quest but i think i'm gonna go um and talk to yeah we could go to the training grounds so let's do that um here we can also find some lost items as you can see you cannot miss these. Thunderbrand replica. So this is uh, for Caspar. This is not for Catherine. And this is for Catherine, actually. Because last month she was here as well. And also Caspar. Alright, so this is the uh, Beginner Sword Tournament. Recommended level is 6 or higher. Weapon use training sword. Reward is 300 gold. And a steel sword plus. Um... Claude can easily do this. I mean, we don't really have a lot of sword units other than Bylet and Claude and Ignatz. Ignatz, um, I could go with him. But to be fair, I'll just go with uh, Claude. Alright, so let's do this tournament. Uh, seems a bit more fair, I guess. Only three hit. Uh, I mean, three damage. Never underestimate an outsider. Okay, we clear round one. Let's go to the next one. Shall we dance? Oh my god! This is the first crit I've got in the try. game. That's amazing. Okay, that was hype. Uh, quarterfinals. Okay. It was a good try. And now we can go to semifinals. Six damage, okay, nine damage, so we just have to hit you three times. That seems fine. And we win. And now we're in the finals. Um, this tournament is probably easy because it's the first one. Alright, so we can restore 20 HP because it is definitely going to be required. Uh, we actually doubled this guy. Okay. So let's continue. And down goes this guy. And we won the tournament. So Claude absolutely slaying the tournament. We got Steel Sword Plus and 300 gold, which is not a lot. And we have got C rank and Professor level now, which is fantastic. Okay, D plus. My bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I asked you. All right. Um, we can talk to Felix, I guess. Lord Lenato's rebellion. The Borg. Give him some gifts. 
recruit. Um, I think you need like... Uh, you need like 15 speed to recruit him. We're at 13. And you also need C rank or higher. Um, and swords to recruit Felix. Uh, so let's give you some gifts. Yeah, if you give Felix this gift, then he will just spit in your face. Trust me, I've tried it before. Uh, that can actually lose you some support points, so you want to go with roses and violets. Who doesn't like those? All right. Yeah, he's just gonna say alright. Alright. <laughs> alright, so... Wow, even I said alright. <laughs> Damn, Felix. Your alrights are infectious, bro. Um... Now we need to go to the fishing pond. Actually, we could go to the, uh, we could go to the second floor. Yeah, and give Catherine her lost item. Talk to Hanuman, and also talk to Rhea. <sighs> You'd best keep your distance. In this nervous state, I might just cut you down. You know, just do it. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm only kidding. Okay. Uh, so let's give her the... Need something? Until that's done, I can't offer any help. Okay. It seems this person is rather interested in joining PM1's house. Uh, Catherine really values the falling stats. Level. That's pretty much it. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. We saw her uh, against La Ronado. How insane she looked. So let's give her the... A uh, badge of graduation. Oh, this is mine. Thanks. I'm glad to have it back. All right. Um, now we have to go and talk to Rhea. Well. Let's do that. Um, yeah, we have to go straight up ahead. Is there anything to be found here? Nope. I am grateful. Are you? <laughs> Might you have come looking for me because you were worried about my safety? Yes, I was, Alolan Palutena. I am quite alright. But your concern means a great deal. Okay. Glad to hear that. Um, okay, we're done with Rhea. And now we can, uh... Yeah, get the Claude quest. This is Sethet's office. Nothing to be found here. Um, yeah, Manuela's room. And here we have a hidden item. Wellness herbs. Herbs that aid with persistent headaches. They probably belong to an adult with a taste of liquor. Alright, we know who that adult is. We definitely do. Unbelievable. What a terrifying story. However, an assassination attempt on Lady Rhea is doomed to fail. Pardon? You think the goal may be different than simple assassination? Intriguing. I suppose the priceless objects in this room could perhaps draw thieves. However, there's no one but me who could make use of them. Yeah, so we got the investigation note. Uh, we could also go and talk to... Uh, that person on the... On the left side. In the library, yeah. Uh, so you can find items here that will increase your... Uh, professor level. And it's just like free experience points, so... No reason not to come to the library every month. Yeah, just like that. It's so easy. Uh, so let's get the investigation note now. There are numerous books in this library that you cannot find anywhere else. But once you are here, you can read them easily enough. I doubt someone would go to the trouble of stealing one. Sometimes Seteth will dispose of books that are deemed inappropriate for the monastery, but that's about it. In a way... I suppose that makes those particular volumes more valuable, right? Oh my god. 
Or he, or maybe Sethid just takes those for himself. Who knows? He probably does. Okay, now we're done with this. Uh, let's um. Yeah, we could also talk to Leonie, but she doesn't really give any kind of support points. And we could talk to Cyril. We can also uh, take a look at the rooms, I guess, of some students, uh, which is just so morally wrong. If I'm being honest, because you can actually find items here. Uh, Marianne's rooms. Yeah, so nobles live here. So I guess all of the normal people uh, have another place of rooms. Um, uh, Hilda's room. Edelgard's room. Wow, they are room neighbors. Hubert's room, of course, it's beside Edelgard. Is there any item to be found here? Or am I just wasting my time? Nope, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, there's absolutely nothing. Sylvain has got a flower pot. Excuse me, Professor. I just wanted to let you know that Lady Rhea is always real concerned with you. She expects great things, I think. Please don't let her down, okay? I don't know, man. I keep missing like 83% hit rates. I've probably let her down already. I hope you're not just saying that. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Wow, okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, get moving now. Uh, we could go to the cathedral. Uh, there are some items to be found there. We could also go to the dining hall, I guess. And we also have to go to the greenhouse to uh, get the harvest and also um, go for the fishing. So let's go to cathedral. And it's definitely taking some time. All right. Right. Why are you repeating? That's right. Well. <laughs> yes, let's read that. Okay, this is Petra. The library is a place I favor, but I'm having a problem. It is lacking sufficient information about Bridget. I have the hope that I can be I, I can be fixing this problem. Add a footnote to the book of Sirius. Make an main <laughs> a traveler. At a footnote. Yeah, you could probably do that. No? Okay. Oh, that was my chance with Petra. To get the answer right and get some support. Ah. Maybe I don't know the likes and the dislikes of students that much. Hmm. As I think I do. See. Okay, Ignatz is just chilling here. Um, this is another empty place. Like, I never find anything here. What's up with this? Completely, like, there's no, like, bulletin board either. Um, so let's go ahead and talk to this, uh, monk. Uh, was it? No, that's the one inside. Uh, we can also nice talk to right. Ash. Uh, I think I spotted him. Where is he? Yeah, there he is. I can't stop thinking about Lenato. I'm sorry, Professor. I know this isn't the time, but I just can't get past it. Oh, thank you. No matter what happens, I promise you I'll do my part. Damn, I feel bad for him. I probably picked the wrong option. I had to go with the second one probably to get the support, but that's fine. It's not like I really want to recruit Ash or something like that. Mysterious notebook. Someone who likes telling jokes. Uh, you know that guy from the prologue. On the day of the rite, the monastery will be open to the public, including the Holy Mausoleum. The Holy Mausoleum is where the tomb of the Divine Saros lies. There she slumbers eternally. That's... Pretty much all that's in there. Just an ancient coffin. 
It's sealed with a powerful magic to protect against would-be grave robbers. All right, then. Uh, so we got that investigation hey. note, and... We have to give the item to the guy who also lost his item. I mean, we have to get the investigation note from this guy and also give him the item. Have you visited the Goddess Tower? It's a sacred place used for rituals and the like. In general, students aren't allowed entry. But as you'd expect, that rule just excites their curiosity. <laughs> Some have even tried sneaking in. Well, at least for this month, that kind of behavior is totally unthinkable. We have a lot more security, what with the goddess's right of rebirth coming up. And let's give him... Mysterious Notebook? Oh, this is mine! I thought it had vanished. Thanks, I owe you. Hmm. Alright then, I think we're pretty much done. Hmm. Yeah, there is also no hidden item usually here. Uh, okay. Which is kind of sad. Yeah, there is the bulletin board, uh, but nothing else. The monastery has like a lot of like really empty places. Unfortunately. Um, so now we are going to be heading to the dining hall, I think. Because we need to get the investigation note, and we can also talk to um, Geralt, but we don't really need the faculty training right now. Uh, we could go to the head chef and the dining staff and get the meals done. Uh, get this item, of course. Mint leaves. Okay. Well, that's something in the monastery that someone might go after. There's so much here, I couldn't possibly name just one. Even this here kitchen contains precious wares, wine bottles from centuries past and the like. I hear that stuff is fancy, but not very drinkable. I doubt anyone would go to the trouble of stealing it. That voice was so good. I really love that voice. Hopefully, uh, there are more guards with his voice. Really good voice acting. Alright, so let's cook some things then. Um, I'm gonna be inviting Manuela, of course, because she has got really good cooking. All of these other people are also good at cooking, but uh, I don't really want to recruit them. Manuela is the one uh, who I need to build up the support because I do want to S-rank her eventually. Uh, so we can go with the King of Beasts. So we can go with this uh, because we have three of those. We can go with uh, plus two luck. That's not good. Uh, we can go with this, the defense plus one, like, SP plus three, I think, is better. My cooking is so good, it's been called seductive. Should I show you what I can do, Professor? She had that dialogue the last time as well. I do so enjoy cutting up vegetables in preparation to cook. So, I'll do that and leave you with the cleanup. I really like how excited she gets. Um, so we're gonna get some support, professor level, and we can also ask some students for uh, dining. All right, so you wanna take uh, the students to the dining hall whose motivation is not maxed out. Uh, we could go to Lorenz, Claude, and Ignatz. I think I'm gonna go with Claude and Ignatz, to be honest. Yeah, seems like the the proper idea. So let's go with Claude. Claude is definitely someone uh, I need to go with. Also go with Lorenz, Ignaz. I'll go with Dorothea, I think. Or Petra. Does Petra like that? Actually, I'll... Hmm. I'll go with Dorothea then. I'm not a fan of this food, but I can't be picky. I'll just hold my nose and gut through it. I'm pretty sure I don't like this, but I'll be okay, as long as it's edible. Okay, so motivation went up. Um, 
Was that me not okay? But I went with Claude because he liked that, I think. So that was weird. I think I didn't pay enough attention, so I kind of wasted my activity points there. So I apologize for that. I should have probably looked. Maybe there was the up arrow and the down arrow, which I didn't see. Uh, which is definitely my fault. Okay, so now let's head down and uh, let's go to the fishing spot. And we can get some items here. Alright, good ones. And let's give her the lost item. Professor, I hope you're well. As for me, I had a date with a splendid specimen of a knight. But now he's suddenly not in the mood to see me again. I blame all these rumors of a deathly figure showing up in town. Such an uproar must have, beyond reason, drawn his attention away from me. Yeah, that's probably it, I guess. <laughs> So let's give her the lost item, the wellness herbs. Wherever did this turn up? Thank you for getting it back to me. All right, and now we are done. Uh, we can also talk to Lorenz. Gave him the lost item and also complete the quest. Are we really just taking Claude's word for it? If so, I doubt anything will come of this. It is all probably just some sort of distasteful joke. I find it highly unlikely that anyone would be foolish enough to barge in here and cause a disturbance. So he has got an artificial flower on him, but he's gonna have another one of those. Oh, most kind. Thank you for bringing this to me. And we can also give him the elegant tea set. How kind of you. And that's exactly why I didn't uh, invite him for dining, because we could increase his motivation this way. And now you can invite your allies to tea party for a chance to bond. It is possible to invite these outside of your house too, uh, with high enough support level. That sounds good. So that's, uh, that's a pretty good way of building up charisma, uh, which is definitely going to be required for recruiting Dorothea. Hi there. Yeah, hi. Who was that? Okay. Let's do some gardening. Let's harvest. So we got some rose. A lot of roses. So we can just spam that uh, as a gift item. And uh, we can uh, plant. Yeah, we can plant. Okay, my bad. Uh, yeah, let's plant. Um, let's plant some white uh, flower seeds. Uh, some blue flower seeds. And those are pretty good. You can only plant two things. And now let's cultivate with uh, prune. All right, that's pretty good. And there's nothing here that could be found, which is kind of strange. Usually you could find stuff. And let's talk to this lady to get the last investigation note. No, it would be terrible if the greenhouse was targeted. The plants in here are incredibly valuable. This place contains the heart of Garrick Mach's 995 year history. So many beautiful flowers, plants that can save or end lives. They are all my precious children. Wow. That's that's a pretty good dialogue. I really like that. Dormitory, second floor, okay. Uh not yet. Um do I wanna peek into the dormitory of these students? Do they have anything? I mean I might get some item or something, so I'm just doing that in hopes of that. Uh, but it's so wrong to do this. Mercedes's room. Uh, usually there is a hidden item here. Okay. I guess there's none to be found. We just have some cats here. Um. No. We have completed the quest. And whose room is this? Okay. Annette. Nothing. Dorothea doesn't come out of her room, so... I mean. Yeah, Dorothea. I could go and talk to Claude then. Yeah, I mean, we're done. Petra is right beside me? No, that's, uh, that's... Oh, Linhart! You have the item! The Art of Fishing! Okay, so we get some professor level points, finally! So, 
this morally wrong activity of exploring uh, rooms of each student paid off finally, and I was able to get um, <laughs> some professor points out of that. So now let's go ahead and talk to uh, Claude and give him that. Almost there. There is the Golden Deer house room. And I think we're done with all of the quests, I think. Oh, we have to go go and like talk to Seth. It. Oh my god, this guy. Okay. Thanks. That was a big help. Owl Feather, so we can give that to Petra and build up some more support with her. Hmm. Something the church values above all else. And on the day of the rite, it'll be open to the public, making it easier than ever to get inside. That's gotta be it, right? Bullseye. We don't know the enemy's intentions, not yet. But our best bet is that their target will be the Holy Mausoleum. Oh, that actually costs activity points. Man, that sucks. Ah, uh, okay. It seems there were forces up. I never thought such forces could exist in this world. I suppose that may be true. And let's give her her lost item, which is the confessional letter. Yes, this is mine. Thank you for returning it. Alright, so now we can go to... Uh, yes, set it. We have to go there. Uh, we could go to the Night's Hall, give the lost item to Caspar, and then go and talk to uh, Sethet and get the quest done. That's here, right? Yeah, Caspar is, I think, here. Yeah. Oh, hey, do you feel only right? Yeah, that's definitely mine. You really saved me with this. I owe you one, Professor. And I think we're pretty much done. Uh, with all of the lost gifts for this month, we found each and every one of them and it seems like there is a support opportunity there um, So I think I'm gonna be continuing this episode uh, Next time, I mean I'm gonna be continuing to explore the monastery uh, and we're gonna talk to Seth it in the next episode and probably explore uh, Some support points it seems from the from the map So I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then please be sure to leave a like it will help me tremendously. And if you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe for more Fire Room 3 Houses content. And please be sure to hit the notification bell and click on all so that you can always get the updates to my videos whenever I upload. Because YouTube sub boxes are about as functional as the meal that we had with our students today, unfortunately. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.